for many, many, many years. Uh, I'm too old now to do a lot of the rescues that I used to do. I now basically run the shop, the warehouse, the auction every month, uh, the fundraisers, the raffle prizes, because um, I do a lot of raffle prizes. So that is what my husband and myself are doing and the computer work. Jackie, who is Last Chance, she runs the uh, rescue, which is in Pizarra. Uh, we only take in dogs that are really bad. They are nearly dying. We don't take in people's pets. We don't take in dogs that are easily homeable. Um, we take in the dogs that are literally down dishes. Um, they're dying in the campo. They've been on the road and we've been trying to feed them and catch them. Um, they, they are really the needy dogs that we take in, which unfortunately also cost us a lot of money because the vet bills are very high, um, because nothing is easy. Nothing is just, oh, what a cutie. Let's just put a vaccination in that, a microchip and what have you, and then we can hold it, easy. No, a lot of our dogs either remain with us or they take months and months and months to get better <coughs> uh, before we can consider doing anything with them. We have about a hundred dogs, which is in the rescue and also in foster homes. At my home, I have long-term dogs. I have the birds and I also have a cattery. We have another cattery as well somewhere else. We have had a horse and a donkey, but that was really too big. Uh, couldn't handle that. The rescue is big and we did have space, but bloody hell. Um, no, they were too big, and we haven't got our name down for any of those anymore. Um, but literally, we rescue anything, birds, cats, dogs, any of the wildlife that's damaged because we know who we can pass them on to, because by law we can't handle them. We have any birds, any wildlife, we have to contact Saprona, which is the Guardia Seville, and we have to contact them and they have places for all of these animals to go to and they rehabilitate them and then they set them free again. So we do a lot, we're only a small charity, uh, but we do a lot of work. Um, so tonight is very much appreciated. Um, I think we've done 365 on the raffle so far. we've done on the raffle. So I hope you're having a good time. Um, we're going to do a little auction. I want to thank uh, the two guys for letting us do this event here. And, and I know everything's running late. I know everything's running late because of all different things, but that's the way of the world. And I also want to thank uh, DJ Tubbs for coming tonight and doing it and also Kelly for getting the ball rolling on this. Thank you. So that it's not once you start doing these things you realise how much work they are. And believe you me, they are a lot of work. We've I've been doing this for a lot of years. And up in the camp, not down the coast, but up in the camp. Well we've done some at, at um, the Green Label. And they've always been successful. Um, but mainly I'm up in the, the campo because that's where I live. That's where the shops are. And, you know, it's just up there. So we're very, 